Hey, hi, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm editing this video right now and I realized I never explained my glasses. And I know you guys always ask me where I get my glasses and want to know more about like my fashion tips. So I figured I'd just start the video out by showing you a few new pairs of glasses I was able to pick out. I realized this year, all I've been wearing is sweatsuits just because we're quarantined, right? What's a way to elevate a basic sweatsuit? Changing out the glasses. I realized with quarantine and everything, I wasn't wearing my daily contacts as much just because I didn't want to waste them just sitting around the house. So I've been wearing my glasses and I only had one pair of glasses before and I had this like revelation. I was like, what if I could just have like four or five fun pairs of glasses and then rotate through those depending on what outfit I'm wearing, okay? I don't know, this is like what excites me in 2021. Let me be excited, okay? I scoured the, oh my God, Herman is hawking up a lung. Scoured the Glasses USA website. They have like over 6,000 pairs and what was super helpful, at least for me, was they have like a virtual try on thing. So you're able to like actually take a picture of yourself and then try the glasses on. So I spent about a good three or four hours doing that. I found these four glasses and I wanna walk you through them. These are all my prescription and they have blue light. So these are the first ones. They're like a little thin gold frame, super cute. I think I love like gold little frames with uh, gold jewelry too. So I think this is, these are a really cute pair. And the next one I got, you guys know my obsession with like the color terracotta. I will have all these linked down below as well. These are another favorite of mine. Then more of like a neutral color. I got this next style in two different colors. This like sage green gray color, really neutral. And then I also got them in this terracotta color again because I am obsessed. So I will have all these linked down below, but I just want to quickly mention that before I hop in the video because I'm wearing the glasses during the video and I know you guys love questions. So, Hey, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I look insane right now. I wanted to do, okay, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I want to do like a day in the life style vlog today, showing what I eat in a day, just my daily activities, my workout, all that kind of stuff. So I'm doing that. I posted on my Instagram like a little comment box asking what you guys want to see more of and day in the life of like me and Matt was highly requested, which was kind of cute actually. It was funny. Um, so we're gonna do that. I just got done with the workout, but I did take some clips on my phone. I posted on my Instagram story. I always post videos like in real time on there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 uh, followers so that I can do the swipe up. I don't think a lot of people realize you have to have 10,000 followers to do the swipe up. So I have 50, almost 50,000 on YouTube. So I'm hoping a couple more of you can just head over Support me there. I post daily recipes, everything I'm eating, my workouts, like everything you like on YouTube, I post in real time on Instagram. I would really, 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 really appreciate that if you did, actually. That helps me out a ton. Um, okay, so I just worked out. I'll insert the clips right now. I go to F45, it's functional 45 minute workouts. We switch off every day between cardio and resistance days. So today was a cardio day, um, but there's no treadmills, it's amazing. Most studios also have a free trial if you have not done it before. A lot of them are also running like New Year's promo, so check it out if you've never tried it before. I just got back, I'm about to walk this one. What time is it? It is, it's 7 a.m. I do the 6.05 class. We wake up at 5.15. I can show a more like in-depth morning routine in like a completely separate video if you guys wanna see that, like a morning routine or an evening routine. We don't walk Herman right away, we feed him, but we don't walk him. Also, leggings, Amazon, shirt, Amazon. Oh, uh, this is an amazing like faux leather puffer from Princess Polly. So I will link what I can down below. When I come home, I put a leash on Herman just to let him know that we are going on a walk. Then, first thing, I, I drink water during my workout. Then I take a shot <laughs> tablespoon of my collagen. This is the collagen supplement that I've been taking. You guys have probably heard of it. It's the Modere brand. It costs as much as like your firstborn probably does. 
Oh my god, why is this leaking so much? This is too expensive. This is too expensive to be leaking. Okay. Is it expensive? Yes. And I told you guys I would try it out on my Instagram and report back. This is my third bottle of it. I'm about halfway done. And I didn't want to like it. And I really did not want to like it. Because it's expensive. It is what it is. I noticed the biggest difference in my joint pain and my back pain. So I have lower back issues like anatomically. I've been, I was just born with it. So I sometimes like have flare ups and stuff. So I have been taking a tablespoon in the morning, usually once a day. It says twice a day, but I only do once a day because then it lasts longer. <laughs> That's what she said. I think it's working great. I have noticed my nails. I mean, for my hair, it's hard because I have extensions. So I don't really know like growth wise, but I mean, my hair is long, like my natural hair is long. My nails are strong. My skin is nice. <laughs> like hype myself up. <laughs> I would say try it out. I have a $10 code. It's not like an affiliate or anything. Um, everyone just gets like a code when you sign up. So like, I can put that in the description below so you can get some money off if you want to try it. I would say just try one bottle and take it consistently. That's the biggest thing with collagen that I noticed is why is this leaking? That is like a $5 drip right there. So you're supposed to like put it in like a tablespoon, but honestly, Tastes like apple juice, doesn't taste bad. And I try to take this before I drink my coffee because there are studies that show caffeine can uh, inhibit the absorption rates of collagen. I'm trying out, I've tried powdered collagen in the, in the past, I'm trying out the liquid. I think I notice a more difference like internally, like I said with my joints and back pain and all that when I take the liquid, which I didn't want to be the case. If you guys have tried this out, let me know. I know they have other lines also so just like, if you try it out, let me know. I'm genuinely curious. Okay, so I come home from the gym. Oh, first off, I wash my hands, all you sick people who don't wash your hands after the gym. Ugh. COVID or not, that is disgusting. Wash my hands, put Herman's leash on, take this, put it back in the fridge, and then I make my coffee. If I wanna make coffee for the day. Also, I harvested all of my hamama greens. Let me turn the lights on. Also pro tip, do the dishes like before you go to bed, it's key. It's nice to wake up with a clean sink. Anyway, I'll show you my hamama greens. My mom got me this for Christmas. They're micro greens that you can easily grow in your home. They only take like a little water. They don't need any sunlight and they're just so fun to grow. And then you harvest them and keep them in a Ziploc with a towel. And then you can put them, they're just, extremely nutrient dense they're mini mic they're mini greens so like they have all the nutrients and greens in them okay so i'm gonna make coffee because I, I feel like having some coffee i have a pretty long day ahead of me um okay just this coffee if you live in texas or have heb the texas pecan i forgot the brand of it. it's like a blue bag so good it's it's so good so i think two of these filter papers i'm also not a huge coffee expert and everyone has like those fancy espressos or like drip ones. You know, you put like hot coffee in and it just drips. I don't know. I don't know what that's like. Let's see if you can balance or no. Just try to balance here on the whiskey. Oh. I'm, s I'm watching you. Also, I have these OXO airtight containers, which I am obsessed with. And my coffee machine is disgusting. Water. And then I let her run. It's it's a girl. <laughs> run while I walk her in. So when I come back, I have coffee ready. Also, I'm gonna rinse off my face really quick. Usually I do that. I wash my hands and I rinse my face off. Just like right after, because I hate when my sweat like dries on my face. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm still using Curology. I still love them. This is the cream the cleanser I use, it's just their gentle cleanser. Then I go in with my uh, personalized like cream for my issues, like my acne. And then their moisturizer. I genuinely use this stuff, you guys. I've talked about it before. But like everything I'm, I recommend, and like regardless, I genuinely love and, obsess, and, uh, up, and am obsessed with. So any sponsored content you ever see me use, like I just, I genuinely use everything I talk about. I think that's very important for transparency, especially in these days. Like. 
I know everyone says of like the amount of emails that like influencers get is insane per day. Like I had no idea. Like I'm just an average person, you guys. Like I'm very normal. <laughs> very normal. Per week I get hundreds of emails from brands offering things. So the ones that I do choose, like I'm genuinely interested in them and like I love them. Okay? Okay. So I rinse off my face. A really gentle cleanser. I really like it. Pat dry your face, okay? I read that somewhere. I don't really know why, but just do it. Put a little of my cream on oh my hormonal acne areas, my chin, my nose. Now let that sink in. Then I'll go in with the moisturizer. Simple stuff, you guys. Not inventing the wheel. Like I said, normal gal. Feels weird like getting back into like having the camera on me. It, like vlogging but you guys really said you wanted to see more day in the life vlogs oh look at that sweat she's that's really cute Blair like that's super cute good job all right let's go walk let's go walk Herman Bubba come on all right <laughs> All right, oh, we just got back from walking her. Now, I'm gonna shower. Right. Now I'm gonna shower and then start my day. Let's go quick body shower, shaved, exfoliated. I like to break up my hair washing days and my like shaving, exfoliating days two different showers because if i you know like i'm a little lazy during the week during my body showers and i don't want to shave or like exfoliate off myself tan then if i leave it for my hair wash shower then my shower is like 30 minutes long and it's just like exhausting let me know if anyone else can relate to that but um yeah i just sh uh, exfoliated off my last layer of fake tan this is the lotion i use if anyone cares it's the almond oil one it leaves your skin with like a really nice uh sheen that's the word in my my robe this is the one i talked about my fab fit fun box that i am obsessed with this is in the winter box i think love it wear it every day <laughs> princess poly joggers and amazon slippers can you tell i have a favorite color palette anyway it is where i'm at i'm gonna pour some coffee matt is at the gym still these mugs come in this like little holder I got them from Home Goods, but like a year ago. So I don't know if they're still there. Now, if I was drinking decaf coffee, I would put uh, liquid collagen or powder collagen in here. Like I like the Vital Protein one, but this is caffeinated because I need it today. My first, I guess, meal. This is not a meal. Whatever. It's gonna be a protein shake. Um, today was cardio, so I don't. I'm not as insane with eating or drinking the protein shake within like 30 minutes of my workout for optimal absorption. If it's a weight training day, I really try to get this in like right after my workout. But we have actually a dietitian who is a member at the gym I go to, and she brings in all these like free protein shakes that she gets from brands. So today we just got Premier Protein, so I'm just gonna use this as a little bit as creamer. It's a pro tip. Super creamy and delicious. So use some of that, and then I'm just gonna drink the rest of it while I start my computer work. Wow, does anyone's coffee station just get like wrecked in the morning? Same. That's my coffee. My first thing I guess I'm ingesting today. Um, here are the meals that we are we're having for the week. We had, the, we switched these two because the steak wasn't defrosted enough, but I also made a black bean vegan version of the fajitas. So I posted all that on my Instagram on a reel. I do a lot of reels. They're really fun, I don't know. So I had that last night on Tuesday. Then we had the spicy chickpea pasta on Monday. That's a cookbook recipe, you guys. It's so bomb. High protein, vegetarian, delicious. Tonight we're having egg roll in a bowl. And then tomorrow we're having a cauliflower veggie pizza crust, just with whatever veggies we have left, because Friday we are going on out of town. So we don't need, obviously, anything. We're trying to just finish up all of our veggies. So we'll probably bulk up our egg roll in a bowl with some veggies today, too. Like broccoli, onion, jalapeno, that sort of thing. Oh, hey. 
These are all of our Christmas cards. I always post this on my Instagram stories too, like our meals for the week. Filling up my gallon jug. I like to keep this just by my desk since I'm not really going anywhere today. This is just a good way for me to make sure I drink all of my water. Okay, so as we are settling in, we have this new setup, two monitors, and my laptop. It's been really helping with the book stuff. Just here's a little sneak peek. Um, okay, but one thing I always like to do is light a candle. Before, this is my favorite at the moment from this brand, Wine Wicks. They're from reused or from old wine bottles, and it's actually like a Chicago company. And my friend sent me this for Christmas, but it's actually her aunt who runs it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Her, I think her cousin does like the social media for it. It's so cute. It smells unreal, this spice candle. It smells just like the nest holiday, but I like to kind of light a candle to set the mood. Light the candle, get my water, my coffee, and then get going for the day. Ignore the box light in the back. That is from our just cookbook shoots. Today, I guess I'll kind of tell you what I have going on on the plan, the agenda. I feel so pale because I just scrubbed off all my fake tan. Okay, essentially, right now, it is 8 a.m. I'm going to work on finalizing some cookbook stuff. Um, I guess a little update on that. It's just been taking longer than I originally planned. What are your guys' thoughts on me releasing like an ebook first just to get that out there? And then depending on how that does, release a hard copy version of it with extra recipes added into it and like bonus things in there. How do you, what do you guys feel about that? With like a hard copy with like a few extra recipes in that. It would just depend on how many copies of the ebook we sell because it just, there's a lot of logistics that go into it as I'm, I assume you can imagine, but like not knowing exactly how many hard copy books to order. There's a lot of unknowns and obviously there's a pandemic going on. So like things are pushed back too. So let me know if you guys would be okay with that. Um, you could also print out the ebook and like put it in a folder or binder or whatever. And I'll probably do like, if you buy the ebook, you'll get a discount off the hard copy if that happens. So let me know your thoughts about that. I'm also finalizing giveaway winners. Don't, I did not forget, obviously. I am contacting all of them personally. I'm not gonna like post it on Instagram or anything. I'm just gonna con like DM them personally. So today, cookbook stuff right now. And please, again, please just give me your feedback on that. I really, I wanna hear from you guys if you guys would be interested in buying the ebook version of it. Cookbook stuff, then at 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. I have my intern ship starting my clinicals. If you guys are new here, I'm in school to become a dietitian. Hi, I'm Blair also. I'm so bad at in introducing myself if new people come to watch. You guys should please subscribe. It's a cool little family we got going over here. We're almost at 50,000, which is insane. I'm in school to become a dietitian. The last leg, I'm, I'm done with the whole schooling part. The last leg of becoming a dietitian is clinical rotations. So I start my rotations on the 18th of January, but we're in orientation right now. And then we have a week off and then I start. So that's why we're going on like a little trip. I have orientation today from 10 a.m. to two on Zoom. We also have a volleyball game. We're on like this like little rec league team. It's like beach volleyball because we're in Texas. So it's like still warm out. I think that's it for today. I'm gonna self tan tonight. Every free moment I have is cookbook. So I'm going crazy, but Matt should be coming home soon. Him and I both go to the gym super early and then get it out of the way. And then he goes to work. He does medical sales and then I stay here hang out, cuddle with Herman while I just work on the computer. So glasses are key. These are also blue light glasses too. So I, I have some new makeup items that I got from Ulta for the trip. So I'm gonna, I'll try those out first impression for you guys. I saw them on TikTok. <sighs> TikTok gets me every time. I just finished uploading my workout footage to my story, like a little time lapse of just snacks. I'm eating those are my apple nachos. Oof, look at that. If I could, I, oh, hey Lauren. Oh, where are my leggings from? Those are from Amazon, I will link them. Oh, okay. And then I posted the reel that I made of the fajitas, two ways of vegetarian option and a meat option. Oh my God, girls. Okay. And then I posted my workout footage. So these are kind of like the things that I post on my story if you guys are ever interested in following me. Just a little heads up. Okay, back to work. Oh, it's my birthday, 818. 
All right, no one cares, but. All right, Matt just got back from the gym. So, what are you making, Matthew? I am making an egg and bacon sandwich. I'm gonna eat that last bagel. Oh. Because it's one staring at me. <laughs> also, we love using the always pan for this kind of stuff because you don't have to spray it or anything and nothing sticks. It's amazing, I can link it for you guys. I'm still drinking my coffee. I probably will eat in like 30 minutes before my call starts because I know I'm gonna be hungry in my call. So, yeah. Aaron, that's where I sleep. You're sleeping on my pillow. Ew. All right, we're gonna make a little avocado crisp bread for my first meal. I'm gonna do two of these crisp breads from Trader Joe's. Well, hello. They also have gluten-free version if that is what you want. I'm just gonna put this whole avocado on there. Slice up some cucumber, onions, tomatoes. I have some of my harvested greens. I'm gonna place on top. And then for a little pizzazz, I have, <laughs> I have, uh, we finished a thing of these Marcona almonds, but there's some truffle salt at the bottom. So I never like to just throw that away. So I'm just gonna top, okay. Hello, why don't sit? I'm gonna top it with that and then, oh, duh. I also, balsamic glaze on top too. All right. I'm kind of in a hurry because my class is gonna, or my orientation is gonna start in like 10 minutes and I have a presentation right when it starts. So I'm gonna make this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, man, have a good day at work. <laughs> Take your lunch. What did you prep today for, for your lunch? Eight slices of pizza. Ground turkey, a bunch of veggies, some rice, celery, peanut butter, protein bar. Protein bar, hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Follow water. Follow water. Follow water. Follow water. Yeah, look how cute you look. And your little scrubs. All right, bye, bye, bye. Your mask, mask on. All right, so here is the final look at the little avocado toast, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this truffle salt on top to finish, and I'm gonna get to my meeting. But look how good that looks. Oh, it's so good. The balsamic glaze just mm, takes it to another level. Love it. You could also, instead of doing avocado, or you could do like one avocado, one hummus. You could do like a, a garlic spread on this, a garlic dip. So many options. Delicious. We love, love it. Love it. Any questions before we watch um, the video? Okay. Hello. Just finished my Zoom meeting or orientation. Five hours, so <laughs> I'll show you. I'm making some lunch right now. I'm just having leftovers from last night. Like I already mentioned, I posted a reel on my Instagram of how I made this, a full dinner. But I'm using, these are like my favorite, favorite, favorite tortillas, just taste-wise. I don't know, it's like, this just sounds weird, but like a gummy texture. And I know that's like very, maybe off-putting. I don't know. Try these. They're also low-carb and only 45 cows. Here are the nutrition facts if you're curious. But they taste delicious. So I'm gonna do two of those and just the rest of, this is just black beans. How I made my like easy faux meat, high protein, high fiber Mexican beans, and then just the left the roasted veggies. And then if you know, you know that Valentina life. So I'm just gonna heat that up. And I might put a dollop of dollop, <laughs> dollop of lazy, a dollop of Greek yogurt on top, just depending on how crazy I'm feeling. I also remember that I had some of this left over from when we did the Jaclyn Hill Crunchwrap Supremes, the plant-based versus the meat one. Since we're going out of town, this is gonna go bad. I'm just gonna heat some of this up in a little Tupperware and drizzle that on top of my fajitas. I'll show you the finished product. Just, I just wanted to update ya on this dairy-free cashew fiesta dip. It's pretty good. I like it. I don't like it as much plain unless I mix like taco seasoning into it or hot sauce into it, but it is really good to top things on. So I'll show you. So it tastes way better when you heat it up. Just FYI, don't eat it cold. That is just really off-putting. Really freaking good, especially for a dairy-free alternative. These black beans are so good. Two ingredients only, and they're delicious. All right, here is the final product. I'm so excited to eat these. It smells so good in here. Check out my Instagram reel on how I made them. Well, you look comfortable. Now I am going to try out this new beauty product because I'm, I have the world's worst, I don't know if you can tell, under eye bags, okay? I don't have any makeup on right now. I look a little cray. You know, that's on me. Uh, 
I sleep a lot, I don't know. But I've always had dark circles. That's what I meant, dark circles. Apparently there's a name for it. I'm too scared to get filler. Also, I'm washing, ew, oh my god, that's so gross. Why does it look so pronounced on camera? I'm washing my sneakers right now. It's this Becca eye brightening set. I got a little like travel size. It was like 30 bucks for this little set. I can link it. My Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Love this stuff. It's super, super light. I'm in the shade Natural 05. Super lightweight. It's like a gel consistency. Not a lot of coverage at all. Just kind of like evens out your complexion. So I'm gonna use that. Then a little bit of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Sand. I should do primer under my eyes, then the Bare Minerals Foundation, then my brightening, then concealer over the brightening, and then set that with the powder. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Four. Really dark. I am focused. Is this even good lighting? Is this better lighting? I can't tell. My lighting in our apartment sucks right now. It's like really overcast outside, so I, I don't really know how it looks. But this is the final product. I feel like it looks so awake and like well rested. And I don't know, I do get a lot of sleep every night. I go to bed at like 10 and wake up at five, but I love it. Oh my God. So the blush I use is still the Luminoso Milani one, drugstore. Then bronzer I use the NYX. Uh, matte bronzer in medium, drugstore. Everything's drugstore except the Becca product. I really like it, you guys. I think it looks good. I feel well arrested. I just don't know if it's like picking up on camera well. Also, I am naturally a little hungry again and Matt isn't home yet. We're gonna do egg roll in a bowl, like I said, for dinner, but I want a little snack. So I'm just making a mug cake, a protein mug cake. I just got this buttermilk pancake, protein pancake mix from Trader Joe's or you get the Kodiak cakes. Put some of that mixed with either water, usually water, in a mug. Spray it with some coconut oil. Mix it up to like a pancake consistency. You can put like blueberries in it or chocolate chips or honey or whatever you want. Pop it in the microwave, make a little mug cake, and there you go. Super easy and quick. Everyone's microwave is different, so I don't want to like exactly tell you, but like a minute and a half to two minutes, but watch it. Okay, this is like the consistency, just like a pancake batter. I put some of these Lily's Stevia sweetened chocolate chips in there. It's a little sketchy. Anyway, pop this in the microwave. Let's go. All right, didn't say she was cute, but I put mine in for like a minute. And you can see it's like that pancake consistency inside. Oof. So but you could also like drizzle it with some like sugar-free syrup or maple, just regular maple syrup. Um, but yeah, it's a really good like sweet treat, high protein, and it's a staple. Also look how freaking cute. All right, I'm gonna eat this. Just got home from work. Allegedly. Allegedly. You got some things from Academy, he was just yes. saying. I got a shirt. You like that brand. Magellan. I like, I like their fishing shirts because they're not cheap and they're not expensive. But they're good quality. They fit well. Yes. And then what else? I got a neck gator. Uh, For when I go duck hunting. He's going duck hunting, but also that's just a little mask. Yeah. Cute, cute. Oh, oh my god, away from me. <gasps> we won the volleyball game. What did you have to say for yourself, Matt? It's not a big deal, but it's a pretty big deal. Just really happy for my team. You know, we came out and uh, you know, the boys were just buzzing. Like, uh, just chipping it over, getting on the other side, just kept the other team on their heels. Like, full team effort. Like, um, you know, it's just something that we've been building for for like whole season. Just everybody bought in and, like, you know, can't thank the coaches enough, the training staff. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just like really, really excited to enjoy it with uh, with the boys. He <laughs> just developed it. a Canadian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Back from our win, we're starving. Ravished. Eight forty-five. We usually don't eat this late, just because we're usually hungry or way earlier. But we're just clearing out the fridge since we're going out of town. So I'm gonna make egg roll in a bowl. Matt doesn't want to have ground turkey because he already had it for lunch today. So egg roll in the bowl. A reminder. Meat, ground, ground turkey. And then we just get these salad kits and use just like the salad part. You can also put the toppings in and like save the dressing for other salads, whatever. This is all you need normally and like two eggs, okay? But since we're trying to clear out our fridge, I'm gonna add in some chopped onions, some carrots, some broccoli, and some jelly panos, okay? If you haven't seen, wait, this is the one that we fucked up the fridge <laughs> from. 
All right, I guess we can actually show All you. Bad. But also, that was kind of like. That was funny, I guess. It turned out to be. Funny. All right. Popping the sucker in. Ooh. I love this always pan that we have because you don't have to spray it. It's got that nonstick on there. And this has enough fat in it where you don't even need that. So. Garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. I'm gonna hold off on the salt to the end just because we add like coconut aminos and sriracha which are higher in sodium. Maybe I'll add some of this. This also has a little sodium in it too. Ground ginger too, just because I have it. Take this, add it in. Be careful because there is a packet in there. Gotta grab that out. Okay, I'll grab it. And this package has like carrots, uh, cilantro, all that in there. But feel free to add like green onions or cilantro to the dish. So now I'm going to add some coconut aminos. This is a soy free version of a lot of this to help to start steaming that down. Also gonna do some rice wine vinegar. Sounds weird, but it adds a really nice flavor. Probably like a tablespoon. Keep mixing that up. I'm also going to chop up some broccoli and onion to add in there too. Should have done that at the beginning, but I was just hungry. Alright, so I have the broccoli in there and the onion. Ideally, you'd put those in first, or like while you're cooking the turkey, just because they take a little longer, but it's fine. I covered it, let everything kind of soak. I put in more coconut aminos oof, to steam it all. Oh my gosh camera's all foggy. I also added a jalapeno in there too. And we have this half bag left of arugula that since we're going out of town, I'm just gonna put that in. And it's gonna wilt down, just adding some more greens. This meal is awesome because it's very to your preference. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's a great way to just get a lot of veggies in. So I'm just gonna try to put the hot turkey and stuff on top to help wilt that down. Cook it through, and you guys know greens really cook down. It looks like a lot, but it won't at the end. Okay, so that's finished. I took it, turned it off the heat. I'm just gonna pour about a tablespoon of sesame oil, and it's just gonna really help crisp up at the end. I like to add it at the end, just so you can still like keep that flavor of it, and it won't cook out. And then it just kind of last minute crisps everything up. It's delish. But yeah, you can see how much those greens like really cook down. My workspace is a complete mess right now. I'm so hungry. Also, I'm gonna get a little crazy. And inside of our, <gasps> touch the sriracha. Inside of the salad packet mix, it comes with these like wonton strips and salad dressing. I'm gonna save the Asian vinaigrette, but I'm gonna top it with the slivered almonds and some of these little wontons. Just cause I feel like it, you know? A little crazy. All right, yeah, if you had the eggs we don't have enough eggs since we're going out of town, but cook up two scrambled eggs on the side, then add them in at the end. Just like when you add in the sesame oil, just to mix the room. And now, my friends, is egg roll in a bowl. Here's the final product with everything but the bagel seasoning on top, some of the wontons, and the sliced almonds. Look at that. If you wanted to just do a more of a low carb dinner, just remove the wontons. But you could also serve as over rice, too to bulk it up for like a family. But like, look how good that looks. Did you look at Matt's salad? This is the salad Matt whipped up. Ooh, that Boca burger on top. Cucumber, tomatoes, oh, and gyro meat. Arugula mixed greens, ranch. It. Yum. Also, I'm obsessed with the show on TLC. It's like a thousand pound sisters. This kind of stuff, like it just fascinates me. I don't know if it's just cause I'm going into dietetics, but like the weight loss surgeries and like bariatric surgeries and all that, I'm learning about it. So like this kind of stuff is kind of cool to see in real life kind of play out. So that's why I like it. But we're just gonna eat our dinners, watch this, put like a load of laundry in, but, oh, I'm just licking the table. Herm's favorite snack, the salmon table. Yeah, 
he's just gonna watch us as we eat okay i think that is going to wrap up this video for us you guys said you wanted to see more day in the lives of us i think this was a pretty good typical day i don't know our days are weird now with like covid and everything going on and i had a lot of computer work to do i'm always on the computer but yeah hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below more videos you want to see because it's fun for us i don't know we also have a q a coming but on my instagram like around christmas time i put a question box for the assumptions and then just regular q a I, we already filmed the assumption video that's up on my channel but we still have to film the q a so make sure you are following for that yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys Woo.